The main advantage of American cars is their size. They are not just bigger than typical European or Japanese cars, the Americans are huge in comparison. And besides, the price of a car from the USA is quite acceptable. A typical representative of the American Auto Design School is the Dodge Intrepid of the 1998-2004 model. It is built on the same wheelbase as Chrysler Concorde, Chrysler LHS, and Chrysler 300M. At the same time, Dodge is considered the most modest car in this company and not because of its size, its length is 5,170 mm. The fact is that in America the Dodge brand has always been positioned slightly lower than Chrysler. And across the ocean, it is customary to first drive a Dodge, and when you get rich, a Chrysler. However, one should not think that Intrepid is some kind of modest machine that young students or losers buy. Nothing like this. This car, at least in Russia, is recognized as a rather cool car. After all, the appearance of the Dodge Intrepid is not bad at all. The car looks very fast, and such a muzzle would fit even a sports coupe. But for a buyer of a used car, its appearance is not so important but how the car will feel in Russia. So, everything is in order with the Dodge hardware. At least if it's made after 2001. After all, as it turns out, on older cars, the paint can peel off on its own. By the way, this is why experienced sellers of Americans do not work with Intrepid released before 2001. With the purchase of body parts for Intrepid in Russia, there may be problems, especially if the car is not operated in Moscow or St. Petersburg. Yes, and in the two capitals, Body work for Dodge usually has to be ordered and waited for a couple of weeks, for dismantling, alas, in the case of Intrepid, you can't really count on it, although recently the situation has been changing for the better. Prices for American body parts in Russia are decent, although you can't call them crazy, for example, the front bumper for Intrepid costs $250, and the headlight costs about $200. By the way, the latter are not the best here. Firstly, they initially do not shine perfectly. Many Americans send this, and secondly, over time, plastic optics become covered with scratches and become cloudy. As a result, the light becomes completely useless. To remedy the situation, you can polish the headlights, $50, but it's better to install Xenon right away, $200 to $300. Moreover, having done this, we strongly recommend that you always carry spare dip beam fuses with you, because of Xenon lamps, they can burn out from time to time and their size is non-standard here. Dodge Intrepid, in addition to three trim levels, also has two interior options, and the more common gear lever is located on the tunnel between the seats. And it happens that the gearbox selector is under the steering wheel, and between the seats there is a pleasant soft pillow. According to the owners of Dodge Intrepid, the latter option is more convenient for communicating with girlfriends. When buying a car manufactured before 2001, you need to check the air conditioner very carefully later it became noticeably more reliable. According to experts, Intrepid, assembled in the late 90s, often breaks down, compressor replacement costs about $500. In addition, there are complaints about broken front door windows, repair costs $50 to $120. In the USA, four-cylinder units are not very recognized. It is believed there that a more or less decent car should have at least a six. Of course, the V8 will be even better, but the Dodge Intrepid only got the V6. As a rule, cars with a 2.7-liter engine producing 204 horsepower are brought to Russia. Sometimes 200 horsepower or 203 horsepower are indicated. There is also an Intrepid with a 3.2-liter engine. It was usually put only on cars in the most expensive trim levels. However, the 3.2-liter unit had slightly more horses, 226, according to other sources, 225 horsepower and sometimes they say, 228 horsepower. Of course, an extra 10% of power will not interfere with any car. However, according to many experts, it is absolutely not worth chasing the Dodge Intrepid 3.2, which is about $3,000 to $5,000 more expensive. After all, the 2.7-liter engine is able to provide very decent dynamics. Although, we admit, somehow I don't want to participate in races on Intrepid, this car was created after all for a comfortable ride, at the same time, it will be able to master 180 to 200 km slash h in any case. They also installed a 3.5 liter engine with a capacity of 245 horsepower on the Intrepid, but it is generally a rarity in Russia. 
Dodge and Chrysler car builders swore that any of the Intrepid's engines were reliable, and allegedly with a good driver, he will be able to drive more than 500,000 kilometers. It is very likely that this is true. However, during a long conversation, it turned out that from a practical point of view, a 2.7-liter engine is still preferable. There are more cars with this unit on the market, respectively. It is easier to buy parts, and the masters are well acquainted with it, and in addition, a reliable chain is used in the timing drive. In other cases, there is a belt, which is recommended to be changed every 60,000 kilometers, $150 to $200. The chain usually serves for 200 to 250,000 kilometers or more without causing any trouble, although then it may start to tinkle, replacement will cost about $300. But buyers of the Dodge Intrepid, when choosing a car, should not completely trust the tales of sellers about super reliable engines. Alas, the cases when the power unit required a major overhaul costing about $1,500 are not isolated. Therefore, you need to check the engine carefully. When servicing the engine, in addition to the standard oil change, it is better to do this every 10,000 kilometers. It is recommended to clean the nozzles once a year, $50, as well as the combustion chamber. For this, a special liquid is used for $30. Plus, you definitely need to clean the radiator, $20 otherwise the engine may boil, which leads to very sad consequences for the wallet. Dodge V6S do not have any terrible chronic diseases, although the thermostat, $20, or the fuel pump, already $350, can break. The gearbox on the Intrepid is found only in an automatic 4-speed. It is tuned for a smooth and comfortable ride, so it will rather disappoint fans of driving. But the Dodge Intrepid automatic transmission has a good resource, although this box sometimes breaks down. But even in the event of a transmission failure, its repair does not always require huge financial costs. After all, the Americans produce special repair kits for automatic transmissions, thanks to which the restoration of working capacity is not too expensive. Spare parts $200 to $300 plus labor for about $300 to $400. Although sometimes it is not necessary to repair the automatic transmission, if the box is buggy, then you can first try to change the solenoids block, $220 with work. Well, in order for the automatic transmission to work longer, drivers should not forget that it is best to change the oil here every 30 to 50,000 kilometers, $100 to $120. Moreover, car owners are advised to carefully monitor what kind of lubricant the masters use. The fact is that if the transmission does not have a manual shift function, it is better to use Mopar ATF plus 3 oil and if there is such an opportunity, then ATF plus 4, there is also an oil manufactured by Quaker State, made specifically for transmissions. Chrysler slash Dodge. But dextrin grease cannot be poured into these automatic transmissions, although some services do just that. One should not think that the chassis of American cars is gentle and designed only for smooth roads. In fact, in the United States, secondary roads are sometimes in approximately the same condition as in Russia, of course, it doesn't come to madness there, but you won't surprise an American with potholes on the pavement. Therefore, the suspension of the Dodge Intrepid is quite strong, although it is difficult to call it eternal. However, it is important that there are no expensive spare parts in the chassis, especially if you buy them not at the Chrysler branded service station. Now you can find a lot of non-original, but quite worthy parts in terms of quality. According to the craftsmen, usually the owners of Dodge Intrepid, made in 2001 to 2003, have to change only the front and rear stabilizer struts, about $120 with work, shock absorbers, $60 to $100 a piece, lower ball joints of the front levers, $60 each, brake pads and discs. By the way, the cost of spare parts for the brake system, depending on the manufacturer, may differ by half. For example, very good pads from Rambaster cost $30, and about the same quality from Mopar costs $65. In 1992, Chrysler Corporation introduced a number of large cars built on the new LH platform, Chrysler Concorde, Chrysler Vision, Dodge Intrepid, Chrysler Intrepid in some markets, Eagle Vision. Outwardly, these models are very similar to each other and, by and large, differ only in emblems and trim. And in 1993, this company was replenished with the most luxurious cars Chrysler LHS in New York. They were equipped only with a 3.5-liter V6 engine with a power of 218 horsepower. 211 horsepower for the European market. 
although on the other machines of the LH series there is also a 3.3 liter unit that produced 163 horsepower. The gearbox, of course, is only automatic. 1997 saw the birth of the second generation Chrysler Concorde, Chrysler LHS, Chrysler New Yorker and Dodge Intrepid, Eagle Vision discontinued in 1998. This time, each model received an original appearance. In 1998, the premiere of another car built on the LH platform, the Chrysler 300M, took place. By the way, it was sold not only in America, but also in Europe. Well, in 2003, the Intrepid was replaced by a completely new model called the Dodge Magnum. The Chrysler 300C was also shown in the same year. Dodge Magnum is equipped with engines of 2.7 liters, V6 with 193 horsepower, 3.5 liters, V6, 254 horsepower, and 5.7 liters, V8, 345 horsepower. In addition, Dodge began making the most charged version of the Magnum called the SRT-8. This car is equipped with a 6.1 liter V8 engine producing 430 horsepower. And you can buy Dodge Magnum not only with the rear axle drive, but also in an all-wheel drive version. In terms of price slash size ratio, the Dodge Intrepid has few competitors. And at the same time, the car does not have the image of a cheap car, like, for example, the Koreans. Of course, Intrepid has its drawbacks, but it also has a lot of advantages. Therefore, if you need a really large and comfortable car, then you can pay attention to the Dodge Intrepid, especially since its price in the secondary market is very attractive, it is better to take cars made after 2001. But at the same time, you need to remember that the fuel consumption of the Intrepid will be rather big, and there will be hard plastic inside the cabin. The Dodge Intrepid shown in our illustrations has recently arrived in Russia from America. This car was released in 2002, and it has a 2.7 liter engine under the hood. The package includes ABS, air conditioning, electric windows, mirrors, and a driver's seat. According to the mechanics, this Intrepid is in excellent condition and does not require any financial investments at all. The mileage at the moment is 59,000 miles, which is about 94,000 kilometers in terms of. Now the car is on sale for $15,950.